I was a little boy growing up in California, and I wanted to be an oceanographer. And I wrote a letter to the biggest oceanographic institution on earth, Scripps in La Jolla. Dear Scripps, I want to be an oceanographer. It was a Santa Claus letter, and someone answered it, and it changed my life. And so having had that happen to me, how could I ignore 16,000 letters written to me? It was a moral obligation to do something. I couldn't just slough it off because I knew that some person did it for me. So it was payback. And that's what Jason is for me. Well, curiosity is a pilot light. And it can be sniffed out. And, and I live in total fear of my pilot light extinguishing and losing that drive of curiosity. But my greatest fear of all is seeing it extinguished in children at too early an age. We discourage the question when we don't know the answer. We say, well, that isn't a very good question. Because a lot of people want to work from a position of authority and power. And to say, I don't know, for some reason is translated as, I'm weak. As opposed to, you know, I just don't know. But let's go find out. And it's, it's, it's relishing what we don't know as opposed to fearing what we don't know. We know so little. I'm not an engineer. I'm a dreamer. But I'm a practical dreamer. My father was an engineer. And my smarter, older brother uh, is a physicist. And so being around them was useful in that it, it taught me respect for the laws of physics. Because if God wrote anything, he wrote the laws of physics. And they define the universe in which we live. And they are the rules. If you're going to play in this game, you got to know the rules. And the laws of physics are the rules. And what's nice about that is once you learn them, you'll never learn them to your satisfaction, but familiarize yourself with the laws of physics, they guide you in dreaming real, realizable dreams. Choosing to be an explorer is a risk because you've decided to go down a road that's not well-traveled and uh, it's, there's no guarantees and you're constantly trying to convince people to support you, which is a, a lot of work. You're convinced but you can't do it by yourself. You have to convince a lot of other people. So it's a risky business. But its rewards are great. Failure is an orphan and success has many fathers. There's a reason for that saying is that people will always say, I'm right behind you. But when you look back, you need a telescope to see them. So yeah, it's a lonely business in that regard. Uh, but I've been fortunate through my life to have key people bet on me. And generally people in a position of power and, and who know the, the game. And, and so I guess I'm a refreshing wind that blows into their lives and, and they'll bet on my horse. And uh, if it weren't for my patrons, I couldn't play because the world I go into, the deep sea, you don't just go there. You have to have a tremendous technology have to have tremendous capability and you need talent, um, a team. And you need to sustain the team. It's not like you do it once. I've done it 120 times. And that requires a machine. And very talented people. And you have to motivate them. And you're a cheerleader and a, and a leader. And so uh, it's it's been an interesting journey for me. Uh, and I'm still on it.